All right, welcome to review here at Total Toy Recon. Uh, we have a massive review here. This is an enormous box, so please forgive me. I'm going to pan down a little bit more. This is the new Premier Collection Human Torch from Diamond Select. Now, it's sculpted by Claiborne Moore. It's limited to 3,000 pieces, and it's gigantic. Like, this is a huge box. So, we are looking at 15 inches tall. It's almost 12 inches uh, across and then deep we are talking a foot deep so it's pretty big so please forgive me i know you're seeing the edges here i don't like that when that happens but it's really big so i'm going to spin it here a little bit kind of show you what's going on give you a little bit we've got some details about the human torch i mean really if you don't know who the human torch is from the fantastic four you're clearly on the wrong website or a YouTube page, but we're gonna open this up and I'm pretty sure, okay, I'm pretty sure that there are batteries included. There's all kinds of battery warnings and things on here. There may not be batteries. I'm not sure, there may not be batteries, but we have 500 and something too. I don't know what that P represents, but 505P2 of 3000. So we're gonna open this up get him out of the box and see how cool he looks it looks like he's going to catch the light perfectly so bear with me i'll be back in a second all right i'm coming back in now I, the box is really really big we have 592 of 3000 the box itself everything weighs nine pounds so this is this is a beast of a of an open here and i'm going to pull some slight pieces out here i don't want anything to break um johnny was already a little loose because he was on the other side over here so we've got johnny feels more like a figure um than a bus but he does not move and then i'm gonna pull this piece out here and the flames are enormous um so we're gonna get this out and i was incorrect there are no batteries um i thought it lit up for some reason i don't know why but i'm gonna keep it going here we're gonna pull this out i can smell the new paint so it's really really cool um, I don't know why I like the new paint smell, but we used to do a uh, smell check every once in a while. A lot of styrofoam, little particles here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Usually these aren't as cool as this, but Premier Collection Resin Statue 592. Why that is backwards, but obviously written by the same person. And so we're going to get this set up here. Let me move this over just a little bit more. So, yeah, we're obviously going to have to move a lot of uh, a lot of styrofoam residue, uh, dust and such. But let's get Johnny out of here. And I'm going to say it already. He's not even out of the bag yet. And I wish the they would just make just a figure in this style at the same scale. It's awesome. And we did review the Johnny Storm figure uh, Marvel Select not too long ago. But look at that detail. I mean, the lines here, right from the comic book, he's got a great, like, pose of flying. We've got these little extra pieces of flame here, here, down here, here. I mean, they, they didn't have to do that. They could have just gone straight with it, but, you know, just done this. But this little extra little bit, I think a little at the top. You get this here and here, and just a little bit of a, I don't want to say a mohawk, but just a little bit maybe coming off the back. Reminds me a lot of the Rocketeer um, uh, uh, Disney Select figure that was there, the way the bust is, along with uh, the Captain Marvel one. There were some really good ones with this flame that would just go up. So I'm going to I'm gonna fade out, pan up, and then put it all together for you. But one thing, I'm, I, before I do that, I want to point out, there's no feet. He goes right into the flame. So that's really going to be different. Um, and really capture, I think, the character in flight. Love the Fantastic Four logo right there. All right, so... All right, so we're back. We're panning up. This shows you how big it is. There's the top of my light box. And this thing is gigantic. Um... This is this is a what I call a museum piece. Like you want something as big as this. If you're a fan of the character, this is your must have. I mean, look how tall he is. Now I'm gonna put him in comparison here. And again, I do apologize that he's way up there, but he's bigger than a, a Marvel Select figure, bigger than a um 
than a, uh, what's it called? A um, Black Star Wars, Black Series figure. He's just really big. And from base to the top of his head, he's over 20 inches. He's almost, he's almost 21 inches tall. So I'm going to pan down again to kind of give you a full scale of what you're seeing here. Look at that flame. It's all flame. And then we go down right into the bust. So this retails for $199.99, and it's worth every penny. This is the kind of piece that you are literally showing off to your friends, your family. Do not have a cat in the house if you have this, and do not have it anywhere near your kids. So if you've got the glass cabinet from Ikea, or if you've got something, you know, museum shelves, this is where you're going to put it, and you're going to take up a lot of space with it. But the light is really, really catching the flame itself as well as everything with the character. It's it's a clear resin plastic, and the light is really, really popping. Again, sorry to show you the top of my light box here, but it's really, really popping. Uh, J Johnny himself, from his, uh, we'll say, ankles to the top of his head, is a little over nine inches uh, tall. But this one's been sitting in the box for a while. I've been dying to open it up, and he's just gorgeous. So really, really fantastic job by Diamond Select. Um... I kind of wish that there were all intersecting pieces uh, with the FF down here. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, I think, can kind of be too much or not enough. Uh, but the thing and him, like, together, even the, the thing at the base would have been, you know, an, an accessory piece. I hope that there is such a thing. We do. I did review a recent thing, bust, statue. It was more of a statue, and it was enormous, but it was in the style of Kirby. This is so much different. Um, so much more modern, uh, but really just, you don't even look for the feet inside the flame. It's just coming straight out. It's such a great piece. And uh, you got to see the top of my light box. So this is Bob from Total to Recon thanking Diamond Select for sending this gorgeous piece out. Uh, have a good day and definitely go to your local comic book store and pick one of these bad boys up because this is just, this, this is, this is, this is your, this is your Christmas gift. This is your Hanukkah gift. This is your Father's Day gift. This is what you get someone who loves the Fantastic Four. Wow.